You're watching Billiard Club Television's presentation of the U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. Brought to you by the Hall of Fame Pool Tour, featuring Nick Varner and Johnny Archer. Host the superstars of pool. Reserve your spot today. For more information, visit billiardclub.net. But now we have Jenny DeVito and Warren Kiemko and the Rocket, Rodney Morris. On BCN at the U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. You're watching Billiard Club Television. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Chalkoff Arena. This is day number six of the 33rd U.S. Open Nine Ball Championships. Our feature matchup for your viewing pleasure. Sponsored by JSY Transportation, former winner of the Asian Open. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome, please, from the Republic of the Philippines, Mr. Warren Kiemko. Thank you. And his opponent is currently marketing a new product that's called Extreme Focus. Also a former U.S. Open nine ball champion. He's from Houston, Texas, known as The Rocket. A warm welcome, please, for Mr. Rodney Morris, The Rocket. Yeah. And gentlemen, you may lag for the first break. Jenny, thank you. Scott Sweating Smith beside <laughs> Jenny out there. And the lag, the all-important lag, Rodney Morris. Warren Kiamko, and we'll let Scott let you know how this turns out. Mr. Kiamko wins the lag. And that didn't take long. Warren Kiamko will be breaking the race to 11 to stay alive. This is loser's side matchup, only six remain. 238 started out, and we're down to the final six. Jenny DeVito letting everybody know rack number one is about to commence. Tale of two cities here, really. Well, two countries. Barry Berman, founder, promoter, room owner. I'm surprised. And he... now Rack Boy. <laughs> okay, let's check it. Well, Warren likes it. And he's looking, he's milking it. Rack number one. The race to 11, Kiamko and Rodney Morris. Cue ball. Well, he's made, what do you make? Four balls off the break. <laughs> Four balls, and he doesn't need the bridge. Wow, what a break that was. Yeah, well, look where he is. Kiamko comes here by virtue of some wins strung together. 11-3 over Tony Chohan. 11-3 followed that up with a win over the reigning world champion, Daryl Peach. And then an 11-10 win over Lee Van Cortez of Rodney Morris. He just came off a defeat at the hands of Ronnie Elcano. Did he two rail it? He two railed it. Nice shot. Well, I wonder if that's the way things are going to go. Yeah. Four balls off the break and... A fluke on the one. Kiamko's going to have to settle himself down. Yeah, I think four balls on the break is the most so far. What's the eight look like? Does it go in the side? Now one thing, he didn't come and have a look at it before he played this three, because he may have played a little different angle on the six, Danny. Right. A little yeah. careless? Right. right. If the six doesn't go and it's froze on the point, he would have liked an angle on the six to hit that eight. But he doesn't have that, so I don't like his end of shooting the eight down the corner, but he should have checked this out before he shot that last ball. You're right. Look where the ball is. What do you do here? I don't know if he can get it past the point shooting it up the corner. Is it the type oh, of shot that you goes. can slam? Can you slam yeah. it in and kind right. of push it past that point? Right. Push the rubber in. I don't like his end of this. Oh, I don't see this ball going, but... But there is like a trick shot that you can force this right through the point. But I don't think this is where you got to be. You going to try to cut it inside? Well, if it goes, everything's easy, and he was right. He was. He knew what he was doing all the time. He did, yeah. We were just trying to guess and complicate things up here. But he knew. Just looking for the rake. And Kamko's played a bit of snooker. And you can tell the way he lines up with the rest, he, or the rake. He looks pretty good, doesn't he? Sure does. 
Well, he's not and very tall. Nine down. One Kiamko opens his account here in the race to 11. One nothing over Rodney Morris. I'm Nick Varner. And I'm Johnny Archer. Join, Join us on the Hall of Fame Pro Tour. Tour. Rodney Morris eyeing up the nine to once again keep the exchange in order. It's his turn. And the first six racks have been split. Three apiece. Warren Kiamko from the Philippines. Rodney Morris from America. And Jenny DeVito from Venus. From Venus? She's got all the way on. That's Venus de Milo. Yeah. She also made, she goes counterclockwise, she goes clockwise. Just not to bore anybody. Three apiece. Rack number seven. Neither one able to put any distance between the other. One into the side. He's got a shot on the two. And I think the eight passes the nine into the corner pocket. Yeah, I believe so. Well, he's just coming to have a look right now. But he's got a shot at the two, as you said, Danny, the three and four top end of the table. Made two balls off that break. Yeah, I don't see any big problems here. And Morris hasn't been in front in this match yet. Mm -hmm. Well, he's in danger of doing so right now. Well, that wasn't his best effort. Yeah, he got on the rail, first of all. Can he get by the side? Shooting this uh, pink ball in the corner. It looks like the cue ball is going dangerously close to the side, doesn't it? Oh, he's going to stroke it a little. Oh, it was close, but no cigar. Made that look easy. Good speed on the cue ball. And he's already had a look just to confirm that eight does pass. So two rails to the eight. Even one rail. Well, there's a two railer. Well, nothing standing between Rodney Morris and a 4-3 four, three, four, three lead now. And he's starting to get that back arm greased, looking a lot more relaxed. And that's why these balls are finding pockets. 4-3, Morris in front of Kiamco now. And with the break in rack number eight. And Johnny Archer, 4-0 in front of Corey Duell. So a comfortable lead early in that match for the Scorpion. Rack number eight, four three, Rodney Morris in front. Something fell. Wing ball, it. and he's got a shot at the one, but the five is the problem. Down at the bottom, married to the nine ball. Does he have a billiard? That might offer a billiard, yep. Danny. Yep. He it might be right. Like might be. He'll get the one, two out of play, and then he'll start eyeing up the three and the angle on the four. If there's a billiard on offer, the Morris will start looking at it here pretty quick. Well, if he doesn't have a billiard, he certainly will have a shot to hit him off the four. Pretty good. Well, now, now here comes, you know, he got a little funny here. I don't know if he can keep the angle on the four to hit those balls, but again, he might have the billiard. Well, he's hesitating, so it must not be obvious. Yeah, he doesn't like where he got. He hit him now, he took a chance. He's, he's got a shot, but I don't know if he can get back to the five from here. Yeah, he got funny here.
He's going to come with a shot here. Yep. He's going to have to show something. He's going to draw it one rail. Yeah, he's going to draw his wallet one rail. Well, he's going to get away with it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, he does have a bank. Well, I think Warren will take this bank because it does give him position to the five. He can just draw a little bit. It's just standing back to see the angle. Looks straight in. Looks dead on. Well, it was straight in. However, he hit it with a bad stroke. He didn't feel confident about that bank. He jumped right up in the middle of the stroke. Big shot here. He can go two cushions. He's going to have to come with a good stroke. High ball, maybe a hair right hand English. Stroke the heck out of it. Oh, what a shot. Stroke what? Thump that in with authority. Great shot from Rodney Morris there. Yeah, he's got an angle to get off the cushion. The rest of it is a road map. Go into the rail with a little bit of right hand English. Easy shot on the eight. Third rack in succession, falls to Rodney Morris. And now two racks clear, 5-3 over Warren Kiamko. A 7-4 lead to Rodney Morris. Warren Kiamko with the break, rack number 12. Conference Center here in Chesapeake. The cut break, not really with any conviction, but he's lost that cue ball in the right area of the table if you're not going to make a ball. You know. And that is a total eclipse to the one. Okay, here we come with the pushes now. And the shot push? that my colleague can't stand. Don't like the push, Danny. Well, I don't know. That's just testing the guy. What do you do here, Jim? Give it back. Or you shoot straight on and try to put it on the end rail behind something. I, if I was shooting, I'd definitely have Morris come back. That's what Camco's doing. Yeah. Morris tried to bluff him and he didn't go for it. Very intelligent shot, kicking it rather than cutting it. Left a shot, but I don't he know He has in the cue ball. If he goes for the one, looks like the cue ball is going to go straight into the four or near it. Well, Camco disappeared. Oh, no, there he is. He's behind the boom. Going to roll this in? Yes, he is. Off the two. Oh, not, not the... Intended shot. He'll take it. How do you get to the three here? He can cut this in, but I don't know if he can get to the three. I think he's got to try and play a good aggressive safety off this too. Yeah, I believe that. There's no way to get to the three if he pockets the two. Well, he came dangerously close to going in that pocket, didn't he? He left an edge on the two, which is welcome to Morris. I think he can cut this and maybe go all the way back behind the three. I don't know. It depends how thin it is. I think he can hit a third of the ball. I think he can go back behind the three or even hit it fuller than that. Well, he, he at least left it on the end rail. Yeah, and it's very tough to knock this two in and get back down for the three. Yeah, Again, a shot that you really, no value in taking on. The, the rewards just aren't there. Mm. Yeah. 
Don't shoot tough shots with tough positions. Look to play safe. Well, he tried to make it. Played safe. Johnny Archer still in control with that match against Corey Duell. Got the handcuffs on Corey in this one early in the sixth rack. A 4-1 lead to Archer. And that's going to bring Kiamko out of his chair and yeah. nothing finding the safe end of the table. So everything's still in the open here for Warren. That shot didn't look very graceful. He plays some shots. He's so instinctive, Morris. I think, you know, we can almost put it down to carelessness with some shots, but you never know. But he's careless on others and makes them. So that's just his style. He does a lot of one stroking. Playing for the nine. Three nine. Not unusual. He Considering everything good. was in the open, but yeah, he's he's perfect. To get back to seven five. First time in the match, Warren Kiamko has put two together, and seven five is confirmed here at the conference center. He will break in rack thirteen. Get it clean with chalk off. 39-year-old, sorry, 38-year-old Warren Kiamko. Got a birthday coming up. Breaks. Rack number 13. Wing ball down, but that one's at the wrong end of the table. Every time he's broken, Danny, he's brought the cue ball forward. No good. It's never a formula for success in nine ball, is it? Plus the one, if it doesn't go on the side, winds up on the end rail. And he's pushing. He's trying to tie up the ball, but I don't think he I don't did think that. he's done a very good job. He's left a 3-5 combination. Yeah, what do you do here? You give it back to him? You see a good save here? I think you gotta give it back. Yeah, I'd bring him out of his chair to shoot this again too. Rodney Rodney can't shoot Rodney this. can't shoot this. No, take it back, he said. Take it back. Take it all the way back. Now what? Hit it straight on, try to go behind the two. Yeah, I might just play side cushion, side cushion. He's using that's the two. He did, he put it behind the two. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot. Pretty good shot from Warren. Nice control of that cue ball. I think he can kick one rail and hit it, but then everything's opening. Yeah, he's gonna. Well, well now the three open. and five are definitely tied up. Yeah. He left a shot, but forget about that because you're not getting to the two. Some cat and mouse being played here by Kiamko and Morris. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of it, I believe. He overcut it on purpose. Left the one. This is a chance for Rodney. The three ball is still the key ball in this rack. There may even be a possibility of a billiard yep. on that three That's to the yep. five. It looks like it. Unless the three is frozen. If the three is frozen on the rail, it's going to bounce up and hit the cue ball real quick. If he goes for the, he can get there now. We're going to find out shortly. This is the key shot. If that billiard is available, Rodney wants to lay just as close to this bottom cushion as possible, and that's what he's trying to do. I think yeah. there is a billiard here. Yeah. A thin clip on the three, very thin clip on the three to try and make the five into the corner. Well, is the three frozen? No, it's not. You can see okay. some space okay. there. Because if it's frozen, it's going to bounce off immediately and hit, and hit the five before he billiards it. And Barry Berman, our promoter, slash founder, slash rack boy, and now slash referee. And he gets the nine, or sorry, the five. Good hit. Barry Berman acknowledges that. We knew that from up here, Danny. Yeah, we could have called it. Barry also does weddings, marriages, divorces. <laughs> He and cut what a recovery it in. there. 
great shot. Yeah. And the crowd, a very knowledgeable crowd here in attendance. They understand the significance of that. To keep the momentum, Morris had to slice that three in. Pretty good crowd, too. He's got to come back. Play the eight in the side. Got to get there some way. Well, you don't want to. Okay, shoot the, shoot the ball in the corner, I guess. Keep it simple. Yeah, I would try to get to the side pocket, but that's why I'm up here doing commentary. And this was a terrific finish from Rodney Morris. If he gets this nine, listen to the applause. Yeah, that was a good one, and they knew it. Campco was starting to come back at him, and Morris staves it off. 8-5, three away from booking a date with either Johnny Archer or Corey Duell. I'm Nick Varner, and I'm Johnny Archer. Join, Join us on the Hall of Fame Pool Tour. Tour. Rack number 14, 8-5, Morris's lead. From the Chalkoff Arena, the, the 33rd the U.S. Open Championship, and that one is not going to get to the pocket. Has he covered it? Yeah, it was There's going. your pro rating, 877. So pretty pretty tidy lead by Rodney Morris in that department as well. Yeah, it's indicative of the score. And we've just had confirmation that Archer is now 6-1 up on Corey Duell. Okay, here's the one pocket shot. I'm not going to have time to point it out, but I think you hit the end. Well, he's going to hop. I don't care for this. This cue well might wind up on the floor. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> I like it better. Great shot from Kiamko. I like it better. That was really super. And that hit the one flush. I think that's why the cue ball was parked. Yeah. Just perfect control, perfect speed. Perfect. And a good shot on the two to the bottom left, and it'll forge an opening. Oh, oh my God. The speed. He made a great shot. The speed kept it out. He can't believe it. He thought he made it. Well, softer, also, that was definitely in. Also, hitting it into the rail kept it out. But you're right, softer it would go. But he didn't feel like he can stop the cue ball hitting it softer. At any rate, he made a great shot on the one, and then he gave it right away with the two. Okay, Rodney's got to fall on this three ball, and uh, I don't see any other problems. Hate to make it sound easy for you people out there, but these are the best players in the world. Well, he draw it close. He got real close. In good shape. This four will pass the seven to the bottom right corner. So Rodney just keeps the cue ball in the middle of the table, and Kiemko slouches a little more in his chair. Don't want to get too comfortable in those chairs. Yeah, you want to get the, used to the it. The idea is to, you know, be on your feet a little more. Yeah. Is he Seven flew? ball. No, it's not there. Oh, he didn't make it. <clears throat> well, we're getting careless here. But like I said, it could be it's a long week. They could be getting a little bit wore out. Rodney's missed some pretty easy shots this match. He hasn't been near as convincing as in other performances on this main table. That's because he's not behind. Every time be, he got behind, he played super. You could be right. Yeah, he's not used to being uh, ahead. Of course, I'm kidding. You'd rather be ahead. What's this, Campo says. Campo, there he goes. He's got a shot on the six. Could he miss the nine? Said for it the matters. Rake. He's played a shot already earlier with the rake. Looked pretty comfortable. <laughs> Nothing fancy, just takes the long seven. Well. That's because the seven's hanging. He said, well, I can do it. I still like getting close when they're hanging because you got better control to the next ball. But he had no choice.
Mike, where are you going? Well, he got on the 50-yard line. You cut it inside or bank it? I think you've cut the sin. Yeah, I think so. He just about missed it. He overcut it a little. He wanted to hit it on the thin side, really. But he stays on course. Pulls one back. Kiamko still trailing by two racks. It's 8 6 now. Rack number 16, an 8 7 lead still to Rodney Morris, but the four rack lead he had earlier has evaporated. One on the side, not quite. He made something. And this is still pretty good. It's not bad. Uh, he can draw this. Can he draw this to the side cushion and drop onto the two? It might be a little thin, and if you do that, you could very well go behind the four. So I, I like going, I'll tell you, this is a little tricky, but I'll tell you what I like doing here. It looks like the off way, but cut this ball in here and go one, two to here, and that gives him a cut on the two. That's what he could do. I, I mean, that looks like a little safer than trying to go one rail to it, drawing it. You could snooker yourself. I like going two rails and cutting it in. So does he. Well, oh, he, he played for the uh, for the combine. My shot was good too, but uh, this is all right. If he can control the two, the two is going to cut and go up a little. Where's the cue ball going? He falls on the two, he's gonna have a good chance to tie up this match. Yeah, he had yep. to play it at speed, Danny, for the reason you said. Because mm -hmm. the two was gonna be going well, he has a shot. towards the middle. But yeah, this is a toughie down yep. the same pocket that is gonna be inviting the three if he gets it. Well, the thing about this is you might get too thin a hit on it three and you won't hold it for the uh, four. Let's see what he does. You want to get straight in on that three if you can. He's made the two. Uh, he's but he's, he's going to be snookered on the three unless he's between. Oh, he oh went, he's gone he between the colors. The Perfect. Well that's lucky. <laughs> yeah it is. That's lucky. There's no way that he wanted to go there with a the cue ball. No, no but he, he did it and it's his inning. It's the rules. You make a ball you got to keep shooting. Okay. I've got a question for you while he uh, okay. continues on. If you win the lag, do you have to break? No. No. In fact, I've seen Pat Fleming uh, give up the break on the hill. So even if you win a rack, you don't have to break? No. Even if you win a rack? No, it's your choice. It's your choice. Sometimes I've seen tables break very tough, and you know, all of a sudden well. the break isn't an advantage, it's a disadvantage. Our great white leader, Pat Fleming, I've seen him uh, give up the break on the hill. That well, no one ever accused <laughs> Pat of being too smart. <laughs> yeah. Good shot, good recovery. Yep. I'm joking, of course, Pat. One of yep. the nicest guys you're going to meet in the sport. Yep. And very astute. I have to say that. And he's a listening. Hall of Fame member. Recently inducted into the BCA Billiard Hall of Fame. And this nine to really put Morris under a little pressure now. And he's got it. And the score, 8-8. Eight, eight. Three in a row for Kiamko. We're going to take a break. Nine eight, Kiamko in front. The cut break has been so successful. This time it deserts him. And a chance, you can hear the fans trying to kind of exude Rodney Morris on. It's been a dry patch for him. Kiamko has won Rocky. six of the last seven. And Rocky, welcome, welcome to the com box. Well, thank you.
I'll just straighten out that microphone for okay. you. There you go. All right. You enjoying the action? I know Rodney yeah. played in your room too, didn't he? Yes, he did. Spoke very highly. I know we uh, we talked about it. I've never been down to the club. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Oh, but I know you. they've heard about it all over the world. Oh, thank you. I think Rodney just got to settle down a little bit here. Yeah, he's lost his way a bit. Yeah, he's he's been doing that for the last year or so. He seems like he runs away with the match, and then he starts two-stroking balls a little bit. Then he settles back down. Well, you will have seen him play an awful lot. He gets into that rhythm, and you know he gets that pace around the table. It can be very intimidating because he looks so casual. It's like he's out taking his dog for a walk, and meanwhile he's with each with each stroke he's throwing the dirt in on you. Well, he's, yeah, he's such a natural player. He's By the way, Rocky plays pretty good himself. <laughs> Used to. <laughs> Now it's their turn. That's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to give them a chance to, you know, reach their potential and uh, make a good living doing it. And we all got to do a little bit of our share of it. Oh, there that's you go. There's that two-stroke I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's you called it, Rocky. That's exactly right. Uh, I talked to him about it once in a while, and I said, when you get down and you get ahead of these guys, you got to maybe take an extra stroke. Well, there's there's been a couple instances a in this match too, Rocky, that he's had, uh, he should have taken a little bit more time. The, yeah, exactly. It demanded a bit more attention, the shot, and he's just got down and, and played it. Almost looked like he was careless, but it's not really careless. It's just his rhythm. Well, he actually, he actually, he's actually getting a little out of his rhythm and not getting that extra warm-up stroke in there. And Kiamko's doing his very best to plant that one right in Roddy Morris's sure. brain. I mean, he gave him uh, four racks, then he earned a rack, and now he's going to he give him another one. And I can tell you that Corey Duell has come back to 6-5 down to Johnny Archer. 6-1 it was at one stage. Yeah, uh, he's, he's my uh, house pro now, Corey Duell. Yeah, nothing but players there. Yeah. When well, Rodney moved to Texas and Corey moved in. New sheriff in town. Yeah. Eight into the side. This is looking very ominous for Rodney Morris. Yeah, well, you can't never count him out, though, you know. No, we've, he's proved that. He came yeah. back from a 10-4 deficit in his first yeah. match. But this is going to get Campco to the hill, and he arrives. 10-8, Warren Kiamko over Rodney Morris. Rocky, thank you very much okay. for stopping in and saying hi. And right. one of guys. these days, I'm going to make my way down there. Okay. Say hi, it. say hi right in your room. Thank you. The Kiamko doing the business here. 10-8 over Rodney Morris. Well, this is dire times for Morris right now. He's got to try and get himself into that patch, that mental area that he's found himself in a few times already in this tournament. He yeah. was 7-3 up at one stage, Rodney. Four racks clear and looked like he was sailing, but that's when some of those unforced errors that Rocky had noted. And yeah. There you can see the pro rating. Kiamko just in front and as is the score. But for the last time in the match, Warren Kiamko from the Philippines settles in to break. Rack number 19. And he's got the wing and the nine. Oh, boy. That was scary. That was real scary. But a chance, a glimmer of hope for the rocket. Yeah. Right now, he's hoping to get back to the table. No, I'm not so sure if you're pushing here. I'm not so sure you don't get rid of that nine. You don't want any quick paths to the finish line. Well, can you... Can he kick at this and try and leave it safe? Can he get deep enough where he can spin it, hit that one right on the nose? I, I think, think this is can. worth a kick. I think he can. I, 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 you know how I feel about that. It's better than pushing and giving your opponent a chance to do that. I think he can get in there and hit it very full, but... 
He's not going to do that. This is not a good push. This is not a good push. Yep. I say bank the one at the nine and stick your rock and you're going to be behind the two and four. I think that's what he's going to try. And he did. He just didn't get it by the four. Oh, he got, got away with it. Got second prize. Fortune yep. favors the brave. Yeah, he can fan this, though, I think, and leave the, the cue ball long. You can hit the paint here, go one rail, maybe all the way behind the four. Well, he was trying. This is good enough, though. There is no shot here. Kamko really hasn't done anything in the U.S. Open. This is his best performance by some stretch. Yeah. He's not looking for it to end just here. No, if he wins this match, he's assured of fourth place. Like you say, he hit it on the professional side, overcutting it, but he left the shot. I don't know if he can, if Kiamco can get to the two now, but he did leave a shot. I think you got to shoot it. I know you'd shoot it, Jimmy. Well, no one accused me of being too smart. <laughs> You're a very brilliant man. Well, he, I wonder if he was banking this into the nine and trying to drag the cue ball behind the three. That's, That's exactly what he, what he was doing. How about it? He didn't make it, but he did the other part. Yeah, he's got Rodney in trouble. Part and the jump two. cue is going to be coming out here. And you know something? He better that, hit it. And that cue ball, if he hits that right-hand side of that one as we look, that cue ball is going to be heading right down towards that nine. Well, he better hit it because I see a one-nine combination with ball in hand. Yeah, he's, he's lining it up. Look at that. There's your nine. The one and the nine. And listen to the crowd. Listen to the the crowd will tell you what happened there. What yeah, a the shot. Way you, you told us ahead of time. 10-9. Kiemko still in front. You but predicted. Morris has the break in rack number 20. That'll fire him up a little. But wow, Jimmy, you, nice you, you called yeah. that perfectly. Rodney breaking. He's got to settle himself back down. Rack number 20, 10 90 trails. The cut break. And nothing and there, break. but safe. Okay, Kayamko has to think now. Where do you push this one? What a shot that was from Rodney Morris in the last rack, Unbelievable. though. Unbelievable. That brought the roof down. Well, he heard you. That was an exciting shot. Now, uh, well, we, we saw Kayamko push when he had a kick so there's no reason to think he's not going to be pushing here he got punished for that because he did have a good kick yeah to say it's down to crunch time oh worth another look this here we one go this is the shot that this was the one that got us to 10-9 yep. watch it again that cue ball right on the nine Perfect. right into the throat look of the corner and look at well, pardon me look at rodney morris that fired him up for sure and archer I think just won that last rack over there. 7-5, and they're taking a break. Still a long ways to go in that one. Camco hasn't sorted out where to push. Well, he's left, he's left a chance. Can Rodney see enough of that one? Warren didn't want to leave him enough of the one. I don't think he did. You know, Very he close. He can hit it, but I don't think he can make it. unless. Well, you can't hop it because you lose the cue ball. He can spin it, but I don't think he wants to bet the game on no, that. He's not, or the match. No, I got to give it back to him here. Yeah, if he can't see enough of that one to be able to put it, <coughs> give put it, it back, put it into attack mode, guaranteed he'll bring Warren back. That's what he's done. So, Warren, what did you have in mind? Well, you got to have a plan when you push out, unless you're bluffing, you know, you're teasing your opponent but he's in a bad spot here
Yeah, he's not going to get away with it. He did leave a shot in the side, but there's a lot of balls in the way. Dropped his cue. I think that was emphatic. Yeah. How do you get back to the two here, Jimmy? Well, you've got to miss the traffic. And I there's don't know a why lot of traffic that. now. He's the, the biggest space is between the seven and the four, just off center. And that isn't and, a and lot. And that's not that not that big a space. Well, whatever you do, make sure you can hit it. There's he the found spot. it. He found it. Yeah. 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 And listen to the crowd again. Great I'll tell you shot. what, that was terrific. He had a very small window to bring that cue ball to, and he found it. You call that? Maybe you can. Maybe you got a future as a coach, Jimmy. <laughs> you you call that? You call the other shot? Okay, he's got a shot at the. Uh, and he's taking a little more time now, isn't he? Yeah. So you know something, Danny? When he gets to when he gets to a spot where his back's against the wall, I think Rodney tends to dig deep and find that character that we all know he's got. Yeah. Well, I like his end of this being Hill Hill. This will be his third consecutive Hill Hill match on this table. And of course, if he can get out here, Hill Hill, your break, you're the favorite. Little twirl, perfect. Perfect here. He's already won two matches in this event, 11-10. One over Danny Harriman, one over Thorsten Homan. Is he going to provide us with yet another? Well, he's sure going to have a chance to do just that. Thank you. Oh, boy, he almost didn't well, cut he, that. He heard the cell phone. That cell phone's ringing, and Rodney was lining up that eight. That's what he said thank you about? That's exactly right. Yeah. And nine goes down. Are you looking for the ultimate one-stop shop for pool and billiard supplies? Log on today to billiardclub.net or call toll-free 866-774-8770. Billiardclub.net. Here we go. Rack number 21, Hill Hill. Rodney Morris and Warren Kiamko. Needs that one down and it's gonna drop. And he's got a bank at the two. And automatic position. Position is there if he gets it. Okay, let's see if he's from Western Kentucky. Oh! Oh. It was tough to hold position to the three. He had to go for it. He tried to spin it. Just caught the near point enough to keep it on the table. Okay, can you get to the uh, can you get to the three? here he sure did uh oh you gotta sweat this one out Rodney your hill hill uh, victories might be coming to a close oh he's well he's moved the nine he's just gonna leave it there but he moved the nine I mean if <laughs> If they had a referee and this that, was an that official was match, that would be a foul. Yeah. Whenever we got a referee for the whole match, it's a foul touching any ball, not just the cue ball. Where are you, side pocket? Look out. Well, he's got a little bit of angle here. Yeah, he likes this. I'm going to hit it perfect. Yeah. You know, you've got a fear for Rodney now. Yeah. Went to the well once too often. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything bad happening here. Yeah, he got perfect. Crowd is silent. 
Well, Rodney's putting his chalk away. Just wants to resettle himself. As I said, he already beat Lee Van Cortez 11-10 in the match leading up to this one, so this is going to be another 11-10 win for Warren Kiamko. Yes! Yeah. Do you hear him? He knows it. Kiamko he knows it. is very confident here. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a shame, but that's the way it goes. Well, he knew the crowd wasn't exactly in his corner. No. But he also knows that these last two he could have kicked in. And Warren yeah. Kianko moves on. Rodney Morris heads home. Kianko will await the winner of Corey Duell and Johnny Archer. Another 11-10 thriller here in the Chalk Off Arena. The U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship is a production of Billiard Club Network. For more, log on to billiardclub.net. I'm Nick Varner, and I'm Johnny Archer. Join, Join us on the Hall of Fame for a score.